Today we're taking a look at Nevermourn, a game that puts you in the decayed boots of a necromancer controlling a squad of undead fleshlings and demons. So this demo dropped during Next Fest and has been one of the more interesting games that I've gotten to play so far. The demo is incredibly short. You get to play sort of like one run for through this like roguelite style scenario where you travel from room to room, but you can easily see what they're going for here. So the game pits you against waves of enemies varying from minions to graders. Now each one has their own strength, their own weakness. While minions primary strength lies in overwhelming you, graders have their own skills and attack styles. You also have casters, tanks, brawlers, and support types. Now their skills are different, but they do all have the same goal of basically making your life as hard as possible and trying to kill you. So let's dive into the gameplay really quick. So your weapon is a two-sided staff. One side is death, the other side is life. Now, death allows you to deal damage with up to three skills. In the demo, you have two skills. It starts off with a ranged spell and then this sort of like fissure type of attack. Life, on the other hand, allows you to heal and summon more minions for your army. Now, life also allows you to place a bone shield on some of your minions to give them extra support. You can place something called a life seed on one of them, which will sort of like tick up and count to a certain duration, and then it'll explode and heal everything around you. So I do wanna to touch on the minion army. So I say army, but in actuality, we're looking at like five slots, six slots for minions, and two slots for greater summons. So I don't think you're gonna have a Legion of Doom scenario here, but it is still quite a bit to manage. And then as each minion dies, you can summon another one from a nearby corpse. So the minions themselves managing them, they're easy enough, right? They're a dime a dozen, there's a ton of them laying all over the place, and you can quickly summon a new one. But the graders are where your strategy lies. So choosing the right grader or two to support your team is very important. Do you want to have a tank to help hold aggro? Do you want to have a support to keep your minions and yourself healthy? Do you want to have a caster to kind of bombard opponents from a distance? The choice is yours. There's a lot you can kind of do with this. And this was something I thought was pretty interesting. I went, did a few runs and kind of compared the two. The best one that I really liked that worked well for me was having a tank and then having a ranged sort of caster. And then I also sort of took the ranged caster approach that allowed me to easily wipe through anything that sort of stood in my way. And it just it kind of worked out the best, to be honest with you guys. So as you clear room after room, you are given the choice of upgrades to augment the way your team works, similar to any other roguelite game out there. So clear the room, you get a reward. The reward is a temporary boost that applies to you during this run. Now, these range from buffing your damage, health, and speed of your summons, or buffing your speed, damage, and health of yourself. And you can pick multiple, right? Each one, I think you get like two or three. And then from there, you can kind of mix and match a little bit. So making sure to pick the right one to lean into a play style is incredibly important. If you try to kind of be a jack of all trades, remember, you'll be a master of none. So lean heavy into a certain play style. But guys, that is it. That is that is the entire demo in a nutshell. It's an incredibly short one, but I really liked what I saw. So if you want to roleplay as a Necro, give Nevermore a shot. You can wishlist it now on Steam, and I have the link in the description below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Vulcan, and I'll talk to you next time.